Hello everyone. In this episode, I'd like to show you how you can bring over an outfit from Marvelous Designer or Clo into Das Studio for quick rendering. So this includes exporting the outfit, setting up the UVs, exporting the outfit, and then resetting up the materials in Das Studio. This is not something you want to use for distribution, in which case you'd probably go via an intermediary app like Blender or something else and clean up the material zones a bit. So they, they Marvelous Designer and Clo usually give you a lot of material zones with a lot of funky names that make zero sense but it's just it's not something you'd want in a distributable product but for something quick and easy that you just want to have for yourself and to have a render to show off that's going to be perfect let's get started I've got this very simple skirt here that is made up of four patterns that are two at the front, one, two, and two at the back. And it also has a waistband and it also has a little seam here. I've created two material zones here, one for the skirt, one for the waist. And the skirt, that's just kind of a dotted fabric. This is from Travis Davids, by the way, his exciting package of uh, substance materials. These are both substance materials. And the top one here, the waistband, that is kind of a leather reed type whatever material that has a little bit of a shine to it. So in order to export this object, the first thing that we need to do is set up the UVs. And that happens up here where it says simulation. When you switch that over to the UV editor, let's make that happen. This is what it looks like. Now notice that, so our goal here is to put all the pattern pieces into this square tile over here. That's the zero to one UV space. If you have more complicated garments, you can spread them out so that each kind of maybe a top would be in this space and the bottoms would be in this and maybe the shoes or buttons or whatever is in this. That is possible. I'll leave that up to you. We're gonna just deal with the single UV space, namely this one here. Now notice that the patterns here in the UV editor look there's less of them than there were a minute ago. If I look at my uh, my 2D view, I can see four skirt pieces and two for the waistband and two for the bottom. Yet when I go into the UV editor, I appear to see less pieces. So in principle, what we need to do is grab all the pieces that we can, select them, and then right click on these and choose fit UV to zero to one. And then Marvelous Designer will do his best to put them into the space as, as best as he can. It doesn't do a great job at it, but you know, it, it kind of works. So the issue is that my pattern pieces here have been made kind of via copy and paste. And when I do that, then I spread them out in the 2D window, but the UV editor seems to still have them overlapped. So be mindful that they need to be all spread out you don't really want overlapped UV so in my case I should have four pattern pieces for the skirt so I can go and left click and drag them out and in fact reveal there's more than just one in fact if I drag this one off as well I can see that underneath all these there's now these are the two seam pieces for the bottom these are now the two pieces for the waistband so there's more pieces of, of fabric than there appears at first. So make sure they spread, you spread them all out. Then you left click and drag a square around them and then right click on this and say fit UV into zero to one. And when you do that, you can click OK here, length of UV corner, it doesn't really matter, whatever the default is. And Marvelous Designer is kind of trying to do its best to fit them in here. This isn't optimal, so feel free to move these around as you see fit. So perhaps these two could go at the top here and then maybe all the skirt pieces. In fact, they could perhaps be a little bit bigger and some of these could be turned around and all that. So I leave that up to your capable hands to maximize whatever you can get out of there. So this, this is probably okay here. This we can probably uh, just go take this. Just take this out here, take both of these out and uh, maybe even turn them around, I don't know. So all of that is possible with these little tools. And of course, in, in things like Blender, you'd have, a, you'd have a better way of controlling this. Blender has an excellent algorithm to pack this as dense as possible. So you don't want like half of the UV tile empty. You don't really want that. You want them kind of, you know, fairly maximized. You also don't want pieces to be on the outside like that. You don't want that. You want them all to be on the inside because this is essentially the map that Marvelous Designer is going to create in a moment. 
So once they're all set up like that, we can go ahead and click this icon at the top here, which says Bake Textures. And when you do that, you can give it a texture path for saving. I might just go and make myself a brand new folder here. And I'll call that Skirt Maps. And in here, I'm just going to call call this map. So this is what my maps are going to be called with a prefix of which map is what. So as soon as I hit save, this thing comes up, that little dialog here. And in it, we can now uh, specify the size of my texture. I think 2048 is the default. We can specify the UV area. So zero to one is default. We can do that. Or you can select all tiles if you spread them around multiple tiles and if you have larger outfits. So I'll leave mine on uh, zero to one. And then at the bottom here, we can see what maps we'd like to export. So diffuse, metalness, normal roughness, and opacity. I don't really have anything with opacity in my map so i might just go leave that off you can tick it and then it will create an opacity map even though with ours it's, it's probably not going to be of much use so i'm going to go and i'm going to leave that out so i'm going to end up with these maps then i'll hit save that takes a moment for marvelous designer to do its thing and save out all the maps that we need in that large resolution and interestingly once it's done the window doesn't really go away so it just goes and lingers around i'm not entirely sure why but i suppose you could i don't know maybe save different maps into different folders i don't know so once it's done just go and close this thing next up we're going to go back into our 2d window and i like to select all my pieces now so that i can export the skirt as an obj so that I can bring it into Dash Studio. We do that under File, Export, OBJ Selected. OBJ will also work. Selected will just uh, look at whatever is selected and then turn that into something that will be exported. And I'll, I'll do the same thing here. I'll go and find my folder, which is the skirt maps. And I'll just put that in there and I'll call that, uh, maybe I'll just call it the skirt. How about that? Perfect. Then another dialog appears that we need to add some, that we need to be mindful of the settings here. So um, select all patterns. Um, this, these are the things that will be exported as a pattern. So mine are pre-selected in the 2D window. That's cool. We want for this to be a single object. We don't want multiple objects, but we don't want this to be thick. We would like for this to be thin and make sure it's welded. So welding, again, this can be done in a step, like if you were to go via Blender, you can do welding in Blender. But from what I find is that if you leave something unwelded and you add a subdivision surface modifier to it, the geometry tends to collapse on the edges and that leads to holes in your garment. So you don't want that. Probably set this to weld. And then unifying UV coordinates, we want to enable that, but we don't necessarily need any of these maps. So you can tick those, and then I think they're ticked by default, and it will then go and save out another diffuse and a normal map, but we don't really need that because we've already baked our map. So you leave those unticked. Scale is important for Dash Studio. Make sure this says uh, centimeters for Dash Studio and 100%. And the rest, leave those unticked here, the axis conversion and the rest doesn't really matter. So we'll click OK, and that will now save out an OBJ. Meanwhile, in Dash Studio, let's go and import our garment into this. Let's say File Import and make sure we browse to that folder, like in my case, it's skirt maps. And there's one that's called the skirt. That's exactly what we want. Let's open that. And in these import options here, you can just select the convert to Dash Studio. Just pick the Dash Studio preset that we have. Here. One unit is one centimeter, and that should do the trick. Hit accept, and that will bring in our plain skirt. I don't actually have an avatar in here. We'll do that in another video in which we're going to have a look at posing the avatar both in Marvelous Designer and in here, and then making sure we bring over a morph target so that the clothing drapes. But that's for another video. So right now, just so that I can see myself a little bit better, I'm using filament here. I will go and add myself a filament 
draw options node only because the default values in Dash Studio are not so good. So I'm going to go and tweak the environment intensity scale down from 15,000, which is the default value to 4,000, just so that I can see my textures a little bit better in a moment. So they they look less blown out that way. Now with my skirt selected, I'll head over to the surfaces tab. And over here, I can find this skirt. That's nice. I can open that up and I can see I've got two material zones here. This is going to be more or less arbitrary depending on the garment that you've created. So you might find a lot of material zones here, but we don't need to worry about it because we're going to create one material that we're going to duplicate over all material zones. So it doesn't really matter how many you have. You can just go and uh, set up one and then paste that into the others. So we'll start with um, this one here, which is with skirt. And the most important one here is under base. That's where you find most of the options that are important. So base, uh, we can open that up if we wanted to. So base under diffuse, we want to define the diffuse color. So under base color, click this little icon here, browse to your folder skirt maps and that's just going to be this one here the just maps diffuse i've called my maps or whatever it's called diffuse that's what you want to plug in there it almost looks like what it looked like in marvel's designer very nice there's also metallicity just above the base color i believe we have metallicity we have a metalness map there we go that's the one so metalness map goes into metallicity that's responsible for giving metal type shines to it and for that to actually work we don't need to just put the map in we also need to crank this value up to one that's important otherwise the map isn't gonna show under glossy we want to add the glossy roughness map that's over here under glossy roughness same principle open it up and there's our roughness map over here that means our garment will be more or less shiny in different parts of it and once again for that to work it needs to be set to one there we go and if you can see that if i change this from zero to one zero was the map is not acknowledged if i press if i set this to one then i see that the glossy shine is going away here that's very cool then the only other thing over here is in the bump channel we don't actually have a bump map we have a normal map so we need to go and plug that in as well that's this one here barely visible but it's like the weird purple one that's the one so let's go and open that put that in there and uh, this is already set to one by default so this is going to give the garment some detail like you know um, fabric detail and all that that's that's what the normal map does and then just to complete this, if you had any transparency in your garment and you have exported the transparency map, you would put that under geometry and then under cutout opacity. That is where you'd add that map. And then you also set that to one. I'm not going to do that because I don't have one. And that is kind of a first material zone set up. So what we're going to do now is uh, copy this. So right click on the material zone you've set up copy selected surfaces then select one or more others that you want to set up now so in my case it's it's i've just got one which is for the for the waistband and for the little seam at the bottom and i can go and right click and select paste to selected surfaces and that will now make my top and bottom look okay and if you look closely it actually is much like it used to look in marvelous designer this has a little bit of a shine to it whereas the skirt at the bottom does not have a shine to it now this is of course in the filament preview so you can of course change that over to iray takes a second and then we can see our handiwork there we go perfection and that is how you can bring in marvelous designer garments into dash studio for rendering now we don't have the avatar in here and we don't have this pose so the moment we bring the avatar in this would still be in an a pose but i will show you how to make that happen in another video and in which we are also going to pose the avatar and then make the skirt pose in marvelous designer and then bring a posed version of our garment over into dash studio join me for that